Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back. This is Witcher 3, Blood and Wine, and uh, we're in this, like, I don't even know the best way to describe it, but we're in this fantasy world. And it's like the most whimsical place that we've visited in the Witcher universe by far. Um, everything is related to old fairy tales. Um, right now we're trying to find these three magic beans so that we can get out of here. And um, we've got kind of three leads from the boy who cried wolf. So as trustworthy as that could be. Uh, but we're going to go visit three bears first. And, oh, we've got more pixies right off the bat. Okay, it's not like a cluster of them like it was last time. Oh, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, let's, uh, let's quickly get some repairs going here. I'm just gonna do, like, a full-on repair of our steel sword. Wait, was there something up there? Yeah, there's somebody here. Is this- oh, look at this! The piper and the rats. Is he the Pied Piper? I don't know what his title is, but he, like, leads the rats away or something. That's really cool. Three bears. Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small, a third just right. Mm hmm. Oh, God. This is not going to go well. Okay, let's get some, uh, let's get some beast oil going. One of these, there we go. I don't- I feel bad taking down these bears. Uh-oh. Looks like you can use some help over here. I wonder if we obviously should have touched them. They'd probably get upset with us just being in here, but we're now destroying these fairy tales for what they were. Magic food, magic food. Oh, we could search her. Blonde curls. The rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking. Okay, so that was pretty unsuccessful. Let's go and visit Grandmama's house, since it's the closest one. Uh, hello? Stunning, are they not? My new robes, absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah. We did talk about that oh, a little look, earlier. The Emperor of Nilfgaard. He's come out to show off his new robe. Showing off something, that's for sure. Big bad wolf. We talk to him? Yeah, there we go. Hello? Can we talk? Schwumbach, my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? Uh, why don't we just get to know each other a little better here, Mr. Wolf? You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. 
You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! Oh, what <laughs> must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Okay, maybe he can give us some answers Listen, here. Looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods popped her claws. Uh -oh. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks, and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Who now what's at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter? Which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. <laughs> Prickly is one word for it. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. That's fair. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. The piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. I guess I'm taking a, a swim. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. I'm going. I'll dive right in there. All right. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Could have broke something. Now, oh here, looks like we might have an exit. No, no. Why do we keep going back under for some reason? That was uncomfortable. Can I not grab this ledge? I guess I have to go up that other side, maybe. This land is, uh, as whimsical as it is law-breaking. Where we were basically walking on water. Oh, what? Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna open How the inventory and check it out. You look like you fit the part. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. I mean, we can play the part. Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. 
But Grandmama, what big eyes you have! Yeah, better to see you with my dear. Granny, what big arms you have! Yeah, better to embrace you with my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have! Eh? The better to eat you with, my dear! Whoa! Okay. Yet another fairy tale that we have to maim and destroy. How long are you gonna make me do that? Come on. Didn't like that. Joss said about the red beam. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. So not a human. Mm -hmm. Gotta open his belly. And definitely swallowed it. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Boom. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? I mean, I am, but I'm also concerned that you won't tell me the truth anyways. Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Tucson, I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark, from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me, or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. Maybe you should have stayed, like, you've been through a should lot. Have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster. Then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry there's, at her oh, for that. Oh, I was that. gonna say, there's still a bit of anger I'm there, angry but... I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. Okay, so one bean down. This is a good sign. Uh, we've got three little pigs, the girl who sells flint, and long locks. Uh, it looks like long locks is the closest. So, it probably makes sense that we go and check that out next. We'll leave the horses. Four animals stacked atop each other. What was the tale called again? The Musicians of Blaviken. <laughs> huh. You've some link to the town as well, don't you? Something like that. But my tale's not much like this one.
Okay, long locks is perhaps in this tower. Now I've heard tell of a notice board somewhere in the area. Perhaps at that little town this or something. Long locks tower. Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bold farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. <laughs> Yes, yep. this must be bald it. farmhand. It always grapple up her brave in the past. Rapunzel. Don't see it anywhere. In the we'll tower. Another way up. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here. If it's all the same, climbing not my strong suit. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Prince's corpse. Tried to free Longlocks, but fell and broke his neck. So we do have some assemblance of like a small town area. Still don't have a map or anything. Oh, look way off there, the castle. <laughs> Let's be really careful here. One wrong step and I don't even want to see it. I have a feeling that she's not here. Spectre oil. I guess we shouldn't be surprised anymore, honestly. With our recent run-ins. I did not expect to see her hang, though. Whoa. Totally whiffed on that. Having this whirl earlier would have been amazing. Not sure. Look at that. Just wrecks her, especially with this sword, too. Come on. Okay, is there something we need to do to take her down quicker here? There we go. That is really sad. Expensive toys. We've got something here. The bean. The bean. Here it is. Would have stumped to climb all that way for nothing. Whoa. The hell? How tempting. It's 
honestly really tempting to just jump off there and see if we could land in, like, water or something, but... Probably not a good idea. Okay, so that's two of the three beans. Um... Whoa! That would have been close. Now we go see the three little pigs. And potentially the girl who sells flint. And we should have a pretty good idea of how to get out of here. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and <laughs> fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. And look where that got you. It's good. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlock. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? Yes, so. In your own way. Oh. What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I didn't mean to do that. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared. Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Hmm. I wonder if we can get her to... To use it. No. If I can ask her that rushing. question. I followed him up. Yeah. So he turned down... There we go. A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. <laughs> that's supposed to be about me too? Oh, brother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. No. You do remind me of him a bit. Uh -oh. Stifling all emotions inside you. Uh oh. Ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Deadlaugh, I. Somehow I knew, call it intuition, that he meant me no harm, that he was trying to frighten me off, for he too was scared. Now do you understand? I guess. <laughs> okay. What happened? And Wait, then she told I, us this, so. Yeah. But then. Playing with fire. Definitely. Got a history with Detloff now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid. I can handle him. Mm hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I. I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. Yeah, she's pulled back the curtain. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Fecking Fable Sphere. Okay. I want to head off in the direction of this 
Oh, more pixies and cereal? Okay, this is a bunch. There we go. Jeez. As much as I hate them, they're pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Ah, here is a notice board. Hello. Flint, cigars, pipes, rolling leaves. Okay, let's check the board first. So, information wanted. One of my eggs hatched into something ugly. I suspect Madame Duck cheated on me with one of those six swans, though she denies everything. I'll pay good coin for evidence of her guilt. Full anonymity assured. So this is the, uh, the black swan or what have you. Seeking owner of a glass slipper, Cinderella. Last night's ball, I danced with a lady with blue eyes and blonde hair tied up into a bun. At the stroke of midnight, she left everything, or she left, leaving behind a glass slipper. Each woman, each woman in the land of thousand fables is to appear before me to try on the slipper until I determine the lady's identity and in due course propose matrimony. Failure to appear will be punishable by flogging. Prince Hubert. Wow, well, seems charming. Unwanted children. I'll take any unwanted children off your hands. Chubby ones preferred. Those skinny ones won't be turned away. The witch. Fresh goods. Tobacco, fist tech, and liquor from absinthe to Everclear. The customer's always right. From the girl who sells it all. Firm, formerly known as the girl who sells flint. I'm not familiar with the girl who sells flint. Um, I know she's the one, like, right next to us, but I don't know the actual story behind her. Uh, to the joker who's always stuffing things under my mattress. I'm warning you for the last time. I'll catch you. I'll have you lashed, scalded, flayed, and finally torn apart by horses, Princess Alexia. And lastly, we actually have a contract. Residents of this fabled land, somebody's after me. Ever since I moved here from the castle in the clouds, I feel like I'm being watched. Help me before it's too late. Balbina the goose, known as the goose that lays golden eggs. I know Joss says it's him, but it's not. <laughs> okay, cool, we've got a contract. I'm interested. Uh, this journal, I think, was the one that we read before, that was read to us, essentially. Contract from a goose. That's new. You really aim to concern yourself with that? Yeah. A true witcher should never abandon poultry in distress. Seriously. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, uh, we're going to go and do the goose contract for sure. And then uh, we'll come talk to the girl who sells flint or now sells everything. Okay? Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.